The Washington Quarter had several mint errors in 1971. Some of these 1971 quarters are worth hundreds or even thousands of dollars. But when it comes to normal 1971 quarters, only the best of the bunch are worth money. 1971 Washington Quarter Mintages The main U.S. Mint in Philadelphia struck 136,420,000 Washington Quarters in 1971. The Denver Mint made the most quarters that year, with a total of 417,341,364. The San Francisco Mint only minted proof 1971 quarters. It produced 2,632,810 quarters in 1971, with more than 553 million quarters and more than 2.6 million proofs made in 1971. A quarter needs to have something special to stand out. Luckily, there were lots of mistakes made at all three U.S. mints that year. The most valuable 1971 Washington quarter, the $35,000 quarter, the most famous and most expensive 1971 quarter is the 1971D quarter struck on an 80% silver 1941 Canadian quarter. This unique coin has been appraised at a whopping $35,000. This one-of-a-kind coin was graded PF65 by the Numismatic Guarantee Corporation, NGC, one of the world's top coin grading services. It is owned by Aircoin specialist and author Mike Byers. He describes the coin as one of the most fascinating and intriguing proofment errors ever discovered. There is a second famous OVA strike of a 1971D quarter on a Canadian coin. In this case, the quarter was struck over a silver George V. Canadian quarter. Unfortunately, Washington's neck obscures the date, but the rest of the details shine through. This unique Profair coin was graded PF64 by NGC and sold for $7,800 in August 2020. Yet another unique 1971 air coin is the 1971D quarter struck on a Philippines 25 centavos coin. This is one of the easiest proof air coins to spot, as it has what Heritage Auctions calls a brassy appearance. Rated a proof PR64, it sold for $4,600 in 2010. Weird is valuable. 1971 quarter errors. Air coins can be some of the weirdest coins you will ever see. Off-center coins occur when the coin blank isn't completely inserted into the press. This causes the design to be shifted off-center, leaving part of the coin smooth. The more off-center the coin design is, the more valuable it is. One extremely weird 1971D quarter combines an off-center strike with a double strike. Graded M64 double struck second strike 70% off center. This coin sold for $1,020 in 2021. One has to wonder how this thing made it out of the Denver Mint. It certainly didn't fit in a coin roll. Other weird 1971 air quarters are the 1971D struck on a Lincoln cent planchet that sold for $1,260. In 1971D quarter struck on a Jefferson Nickel Planchet, $216. The 1971D quarter that is missing the copper nickel cladding on the obverse, $540. And a 1971D proof quarter that was double struck in the coin press collar for $1,175. The obverse die was loose when this quarter was made and rotated a little bit before making the second strike. The thin 1971D Washington Quarter. Coins are made by stamping round blanks from sheets of metal that are the same thickness as the coin. The blanks are then fed into coining presses to make the actual coins. In 1971 at the Denver Mint, someone took a strip of metal intended for making dimes and fed it through the stamping machine that made blanks for quarters. When these blanks were fed into the quarter coining press, they made quarters with the same thickness as dimes. Officially called 1971D quarter on dime stock, these air coins are known among collectors as thin quarters. An estimated 100,000 1971D thin quarters were made before the mistake was noticed. This is one 1971D quarter error that you may actually have a chance at finding in your change.
Price of 1971 D quarter struck on dime stock run from $30 for moderately worn pieces to $350 for the nicest uncirculated examples. These coins are different from those struck on a dime planchet, which is when an actual dime blank is struck in a quarter coin press. Grading 1971 quarters. Appearances are everything. Coins are graded on a scale from 1 to 71. Mint State 71 represents a flawless coin, even under magnification. Coins made for circulation are stored in large bins and canvas bags after they are made, where they get scratched and dinched. This makes a grade of N71 on a circulation strike coin virtually impossible. Proof coins, like the 1971 D quarter, are handled carefully and sealed into coin sets. These coins have the best chance to score that perfect 70. A few proof coins have almost reached that lofty perch, scoring a PR69. These scores are important, as just one step down results in a far lower value. Here are some examples to show just how much. The top grade is the finest known of each mintage. What is a proof coin? Proof coins are struck multiple times to give the field of the coin, the surface of the coin around the head and eagle, a mirror-like finish. A coin described as cameo has a deeper mirrored look. Teep cameo coins have an exceptional mirrored appearance and are the rarest type of proof coin. Can you find a 1971 quarter worth money? It is still possible to find 1971 Washington quarters worth money in your change. Thin quarters, double strikes, and even off-center coins may be lurking out there. If you do find one, don't clean it. Coins need to have the appearance that they have built up over the years. A cleaned coin is undesirable to collectors and only worth a fraction of the value of an uncleaned coin. With that in mind, it only takes a couple of seconds to check your change for valuable coins. USA Coin Book estimated value of 1971D Washington quarter is worth $6.81 or more in uncirculated, M's plus, mint condition. Click here to learn how to use coin price charts. Also, click here to learn about grading coins. The melt value shown below is how valuable the coin's metal is worth. Bare minimum value of coin. The 1971D Washington quarter is very common as the mint produced over 250 million of them. Coins can still be found in circulation, but most of these are in M63 condition and lower. The most valuable 1971 Washington quarter, the $35,000 quarter, the most famous and most expensive 1971 quarter is the 1971D quarter struck on an 80% silver 1941. And while it's no surprise that many 200-year-old coins are worth more than the standard value, it turns out that a 1971 quarter could be worth far more than 25 cents. How much more? Well, a quarter listed on eBay recently sold for a whopping $35,000. 1971 Nomad Mark Washington quarter value. Most quarters with this date on the obverse are affordable, and you can buy one in circulated condition for its face value of 25 cents. 1971 is proof quarter value. In 1971, the proof sets came from the San Francisco facility, known for better strikes than the Denver and Philadelphia ones. That year, the mint produced about 3,200,000 proof coins significantly more than the low number of proofs that mints typically strike. Ideally, the D mark curving appears on the top right and bottom left of the S mark. These quarter coins are rare, hence, you can earn a fortune by selling one in the best mint state. Uncirculated and high mint state coins are a treasure.